So I've done everything on this dog except for the head. When you're doing a head, you want to make sure that you've gotten as much of the neck as you need to get, or else it'll just be in your way later. So when I shaved, I did up to where the collar hits there, and I did behind the ear. And this dog gets a really short haircut, so I actually did a nine blade. And you want to make sure you scoop that under the beard enough as well. I use the same blade that I did with the grain on the body under the beard and I go up farther than you might expect. And then make sure that's brushed out. I want to make sure that the eyes are good. I did these before the bath, but I'm going to hit them one more time just to make sure that we're about got everything we want out of the way. Okay. Now you can, you know, clear out the eyes however you want, depending on how fancy the dog is. If you don't want to use clippers and want to use thinners, that's fine. I already did this dog, the inside of the ears there. Now I'm going to do the top of the head. It's usually the first thing I, one of the first things I do. Here. I like to use a two comb very often. I end up using a two comb. Now, if you're doing tr like triangle ears, then you might go down the ear with this as well. But these are kind of like those rectangle ears where the length from here down just stays. And so I'm really gonna kind of blend right at the top of the ear there. I am gonna go down the side of the face a bit on this dog. Not a ton. I'm mostly going with the grain here sometimes. Let me go ahead and finish my with the grain this way as well. I'm gonna get that ear out of my way and do a little bit of this side. Take that off of there. Alright now sometimes going from here I'll actually do kind of against the grain to blend that into the back head. Okay? And you could take a longer comb and just completely go against the grain. And that's another good way to do it. I'm going to scissor in front of those eyes. Now let's see. All right. Now, I need to clean up in front of his mouth before I trim that beard. I'm going to try to get those hairs out of his mouth. Kind of pull everything a little bit forward and get those out from between his lips. I got to squeeze his snout while I do this. A little mustache. I'm going very close to those lips. And they will just lick right when you cut, and then you'll have a bloody tongue. So, do it once or twice, or however many times it takes you to get what you're looking for. Very good. Now, let me go ahead and do above his eyes, just to give him some. Now, if he doesn't have any eyelashes that I'm trying to preserve, so I'm not gonna worry about that. If a dog has some eyelashes, I'd need to get some separation, and maybe hold the eyelashes over before I do this scissor cut. He doesn't have any, so I'm not going to worry about it. And I'm just going to do my, I kind of just pulled everything forward. And I'm really kind of doing like a vertical, but like a rainbow, like my scissors. I'm just snipping vertical. And a little bit, a little bit over there and a little bit over here. And really you want to get this stuff on the sides as well. Because when they shake their head, when they are ready to go home, that's going to pop out and be a little bit annoying. If you're a little bit concerned, I'm going to finish it all with thinners, but you can do that with thinners too if it's so choppy. He's got such fine hair. Um, let's see, what do I want to do? Let's do the beard next and then we'll finish the top one. So on the beard, I like to do, I don't know how many steps it is. Um, the first step I like to do is set the length under the chin. And you can do this as short as this, or I might take half off of this dog, or if they like to preserve the length, you're gonna, you know. But I'm just gonna kind of go for a straight line using my curved scissors. So it'll be a slight curve here and a slight curve there. Then we're gonna do this side, and then we're gonna do this side. So it's kind of a one, two, three for starters. Then we're gonna blend. So you're always kind of cutting in major length, then blending out. I know you're doing so good. This dog's being very patient. Now, before I even get to these sides, I can tell I've got a mess under here, and that's going to take me so long 
to be trying to like keep comb and trim and comb and trim. And part of that is you can get some of that out of your way by pulling the dog's snout upward and then combing this down kind of against the neck there and then doing a V cut. And that's gonna clear a lot of that out. And I'm not cutting into the front beard here when I do that. Okay, and it doesn't have to look perfect or anything because I'm gonna refine it all after. So that's a good little step today to get some stuff out of here. It looks a mess right now, but we're not finished. So I did my first cut here. Now I'm gonna do my side. Sometimes you go up to the ear like that. Sometimes you keep it straight, like all this hair wants to be that long. So that just depends on the dog. But I'm pretty much gonna start where I had the bottom there. And just go about straight back. And if you're having trouble with stuff under there, again, kind of comb it, just comb it. And we're gonna come back with our thinners at the end. And if I see these whiskers and they're easy to grab, I'm gonna grab them. Right, now I'm gonna do this side. And if this ear is in your way, you can actually, if it'll stay up there, that might help you. And then, I know, I know. Again, I'm just gonna try to, I know you're doing so good, this dog's getting tired. Good job. Just gonna try to match that front length. Now, all the blending I like to do. After my one, two, and three, I like to blend in the front here and here to the ear, okay? Um, and you can do that with kind of a rough cut with your scissors first. So let's see, I like to do this forward a little bit. And depending on how like, rectangular you want this beard you would do this if you want it really really round brush it all forward and then trim that all off but if you want it more rectangular don't trim as much off but you can okay. still do a little blend so it just depends kind of what the dog wants to look like and this dog is getting a pretty practical haircut so I'm gonna go ahead and let it be pretty round take off a fair amount of that all that does, if you do that properly, brushing it forward and then give you a little snip there in the, on each side, is, I know it's really so good. When it brushes down, it has this kind of taper. Okay? And back here, I'm gonna do a little bit of blending. And all this under here, I'm gonna take that out. All right. Do this side. I'm gonna make that part of the top of the head instead of part of the ear. There you go. So good, doggo. Get out of here. So I'm gonna do my. He's practically done. I'm going to go over everything with the thin thinners at the end. Um, once you kind of cut your lengths in, then this type of fur is just so choppy. I, I can't bring myself to send the dog home without putting thinners over it. But it does take more time. Literally on the top of the nose, the part that's like right in front, I try to clean that up. So I just kind of tease it up a little bit, tease it up, and make sure that um, with the scissors facing this way, you do a little rainbow over the nose. And with the scissors facing this way, you do a little rainbow in front of the eye. You know, and that's true for like even curly haired breeds that have that like donut around the snout. It's a similar motion. Um, if you tease it up properly, it's gonna kind of be similar. Alright, look at our thinner. So if you're having any issue with this fur in here, obviously, you should do your thinners there, the thinners there. But I don't see an issue here. I'm happy with that. So what I want to do is scoop these ears out of my way just so that I can check my blending and my beard. 
to make sure that I got the length about right. And I literally, I know, you're doing so good. That's how I get my imperfections. I don't know, but you're doing so good. Good, good girl. Okay. Here. You don't want to be doing a lot of bouncing. You mostly want to hold your scissors still and do your. And if you want, you can do a little bit of this. Same motion we did before, but blend. You know, now we're kind of blending a little better. And now, the last thing I'm going to do is just trim a little bit off the bottom of the ears. And uh, you know, if you feel like this is too choppy, you can go like this. A little more of that. If you're having trouble in between there, you can get a little more of that out with your thinners too. I know, buddy, you're doing so good. 